not be afraid, Abraham. I will keep you from danger and give you great rewards. Oh, Abraham, come on. I'm going to give you a great reward. Look up at the sky and count the stars. I will bless you with children like stars in the sky. There will be too many to count. I am your Lord God. I gave you this land to inherit. You must offer me a sacrifice. I will do it, God. Thank you. Where are you going? I must go to the altar and offer these sacrifices. Why? Did God speak to you again? Yes, dear. He spoke to me yesterday and he told me that we will have children as many as the stars in the sky. Ha ha! Isn't that going to be amazing? Oh dear, I wish it could be true. Huh? Why are you not happy? Don't you trust what God said? Mm. It's not that. I've become too old to give birth to a child. Don't worry. It's going to happen. You must trust in God. Yes, dear. I have complete faith in our God. Now, you don't worry. Go on and offer your sacrifice. I'll come back soon. And once Abraham offered the sacrifices, God again spoke to Abraham. Abraham, you will have many descendants. They will live in a foreign country and they will work as slaves. They are going to be treated badly for years. But I will punish that nation and your descendants leave from there. They will leave with great wealth. That night, God made a promise to Abraham that would last throughout ages. Yes, he told me again that we will have more descendants than stars in the heaven. Ha ha! Yes, but... No dear, we must have faith in God's promise. Thank you, Hagar. But... I'm so old and and thanks Hager you you are so beautiful and and young look at her dear what is it listen to me very carefully Hager is young and beautiful she is my servant I can give her to you as a second wife no no I'm sorry Listen to me, dear. She's young and she can bear your children. Isn't that we want it the most? You want to do this so that we can have children? Yes, my husband. I'm happy to give her to you. Please agree to this. Please, dear. But... You must accept this arrangement. Are you okay with this, Hager? I will do anything you say. That's good, Hager. And you shouldn't object to this, dear. Please. Hmm. If this is what you think is the best, then I am, I am ready. Abram lay with Hager and she became pregnant. As soon as she knew that she was carrying Abram's child, she started to make fun of Surai. Oh, 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 <laughs> you. <laughs> Surai put up with it for a while, but it soon became unbearable. 
One day she lost her temper and slapped Hagar. Abraham, you have to control Hagar. Now that she's carrying your child, she despises me and and she's making fun of me all the time. I'm sorry, dear, but Don't, don't stop me. The Lord our God will judge between her and me to see who's right. Hagar got really frightened and ran away into the desert. She ran for a very long time and when she got tired, she stopped by a spring. She hoped that someone would come by and help her. She was crying when an angel appeared before her. Who are you? Hagar, you must go back to Abram. You will have a son and you should call him Ishmael, which means God heals. Hagar went back to live with Abram and gave birth to a son. They called him Ishmael.